What makes a copywriter irreplaceable? Someone was asking this in one of the Facebook groups that I'm a member of. It is, this is a group for copywriters. And they were actually asking a question about, is AI going to replace copywriters? And there were lots of comments, lots of replies on that question. And I posted, only if you're replaceable, then AI could replace you, sure. But only if you're re replaceable. So the person that posted the thread said back to me, what makes, uh, what makes you irreplaceable? Like, how do you make yourself irreplaceable? I thought that was a really good question. So I had to do a video on that. And what would qualify me to actually answer that question? Well, I've collected $1 million worth of invoices from my writing services since I've been in business. So not saying I did that super quick, it took me a long time, but I've actually collected a million dollars worth of writing services. And you know, I've done a lot of writing. I've done a lot of copywriting, content writing, editing for clients, and I've worked with a lot of business owners. I've worked with a lot of people. So that's what qualifies me to actually answer this question. And I've experienced a lot as a copywriter. So let's go back to 2020, the year when all the crazy stuff was going down. So I actually had a client that, I wanna say fired me, but they, they let me go during that year. So I believe it was May or June of 2020. And they just sent me an email and they're like, um, we decided to move to an in-house copywriter. So, um, you know, we don't, we don't need any further writing, which was weird because I, I thought at the time, why don't you just have me be the in-house copywriter? Cause I had been writing for them for a couple of years. And, but here's the thing, here's, here's how I responded to this. I didn't go into any kind of panic or any kind of emotional spiral from that point. I had a, a reaction to that, but I, I kept that reaction to myself. I didn't show the client what my reaction was, and I actually didn't respond to the email at all. I didn't even acknowledge it. Um, now they had tracking software, so I, I'm sure that they could see that I had opened the email. Um, but I didn't say anything, I didn't freak out, I didn't burn a bridge, I didn't do any of that. So I just kept going. I had other clients that I was writing for and I was like, well, okay. So we lost a, a pretty big client. Um, and they weren't, you know, they were, I wouldn't say big. They weren't big at, at that time. They were like a client. So anyways, six months later, January, 2021, that client came back they said, hey, we're hiring a copywriter. We're looking to hire a copywriter. Are you taking on clients? And I said, absolutely. Um, so we hopped on a call, we talked about it. It turned out they wanted to give me not only the tasks that I had previously been doing for them, they wanted to give me like 95% of all of their copywriting. So I was basically gonna take over all of the content writing, all of the copywriting for the entire company. And I was like, that's cool and they offered to double the fee that they were previously paying me for that. And I was like, okay, that works. Um, so I immediately picked up right where we left off without even missing a beat. That is what makes someone irreplaceable. Now, this is a client that I've continued to work with uh, for several more years after that and I also think this is what makes someone irreplaceable is they really take the time. A copywriter takes the time to really learn your brand, learn your style, learn your actual material, your message. What are you trying to teach people? What is your style of delivery? And then what is your voice? Like, how do you sound in writing in speaking? And a lot of my work, for that client is taking literally their transcripts and turning it into written articles and emails and promotional content and sales pages and all of it. And so I believe that is what makes a copywriter irreplaceable. So part one is you don't have emotional meltdowns in front of the client or at all, really like, you know how to regulate your own emotions. That's 
part one, that makes someone irreplaceable. And part two, you, you pick up right where you left off, like without missing a beat. I, I viewed the situation as, you know what? There's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to keep moving forward. That to me makes someone irreplaceable. That is a mindset That is an attitude. That is a way of approaching life, business, work. Like we just keep moving forward. And I think what takes people out, especially copywriters who have a hard time like landing clients or keeping clients is first of all, they don't regulate their own emotions. They let the smallest things take them out. Like they will start crying over nothing, over anything. They'll find any reason to get triggered over anything. They will take themselves out with bad habits. Maybe it's eating, maybe it's too much sugar consumption, or maybe you still drink alcohol in 2024, which is kind of weird. Maybe it's just anything that puts you in a really bad mood or energy state. So taking yourself out. Someone who takes themselves out of the game repeatedly is replaceable. Like there's, there's someone who doesn't do that and they're more than happy to take on the work that you're not capable of taking on because you took yourself out. So that's a mindset as well. That is like internal mental strength training to be able to choose to not take yourself out every single day. And that goes back to your habits, that goes back to your tolerations, your standards. Like, what is the standard that you have for yourself in your life? Do you actually maintain those standards? Or do you repeatedly fall and not uphold your standards? So what makes someone irreplaceable? All of those things that I listed. And intentionally cultivating a really great attitude every single day. Like, That to me, that is everything. Like imagine going through life with just a crappy attitude. You don't want to work. You're triggered at everything. You have a problem with everything. Everything offends you and you get nothing done and you don't believe in yourself. You don't charge enough. So you're always broke anyway and you don't have any courage to do anything and just kind of sit there and like let life pass you by. That's one version. Like who's going to hire that, that person, let alone maintain them on their team. Like who's going to continually pay that person, right? That's a low value individual because that person has not cultivated things that are valuable within themselves versus a high value person that you can create yourself to be who is always every day looking for how do I bring my best today? Right? Like how do I actually learn to love the work that needs to be done And doing that, like choosing to do what you know is right. So your conscience is telling you to drop the sugar, drop the junk food, drop the alcohol, whatever it is, drop the acts of taking yourself out and intentionally foregoing that because you have a greater purpose, which is to serve your clients, to serve the people around you, to bring your best. And your best is going to change from day to day, but that is a mindset. Like, you know what? I'm going to do my best and being honest about what actually is your best. Like, are you actually giving it your all or are you giving like 10%, 30%, 30% is very different from giving it your all. And, you know, this is about being honest with yourself. Like, how are you really showing up? The people that are irreplaceable, like I I almost feel like with this one client that I was telling you about, I almost feel like, like if I was to suddenly go away, it would be very difficult for them to replace me. I mean, they could. It would just be very, very difficult. Like 
to bring someone in that knows the voice, that knows the material, that knows the content, that shows up, that has the good attitude. Like, sadly, that is rare in today's society. Um, someone who just understands the structure of the copywriting and the content writing and the promotional campaigns that we do, like it would be very difficult to replace me. I'm not saying it was, it would be impossible, but it would be difficult. That's how you know you're irreplaceable. And that's a good feeling to have knowing that it's difficult to replace you. Now, here's the other thing too, is cultivating this mindset that you don't actually need this client. So if you're a copywriter, for example, each of your big clients that you have, you should not depend on them. Like anything can happen. It's business, it's life. People go through hardship. People um, sometimes go out of business. I've had that happen where clients went out of business or they you know, have legal troubles and they suddenly can't pay anything for marketing or writing and they just, they quit. I've had that happen. Um, but what makes you irreplaceable also is you just keep going. You don't rely on one client. You are working behind the scenes to add more clients and to do more work and to just build up this solid base of people that you can serve. So it's this mindset of growth. That's really what it is. Like you're replaceable if you don't have a mindset of growth. Now I talked about in my book, The Anti-Marketing Manifesto, I talked about like, what is too much growth? What is like cancerous growth versus healthy growth? I'm talking about healthy growth. I'm talking about like flourishing, thriving, right? Not like, growing for the sake of growing, but really just like blossoming. That's the kind of growth I'm talking about here. Someone who is replaceable doesn't want to grow. They don't want to grow very much. They, they want to stay the same. They want to stay in their comfort zone. They just want to collect a paycheck and be done with it. That's an irreplaceable. That's a replaceable person. The irreplaceable person is never satisfied with where they're at. They're like, I could do more. I could be more. I love this so much. Not from a place of like stress and anxiety, but like, I fucking love this. Like, this is the work that I get to do. I want more of it. That's an irreplaceable person. So how can you make yourself irreplaceable in your life, in your business, in your work? What are the behaviors that you tolerate within yourself that make you replaceable? <laughs>